Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Old colleague Phoenix here, and welcome to episode number 27 of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play series. Alright, we're gonna do a race right here. What are we doing? We're going? We're gonna race this dude to the ravine. I guess. Wait, are we? Yeah, okay, we are. He's just being real slow. Let's go. Let's get a head start then. This is going to be easy. Alright. Beautiful. Let's run. I was coming over here to talk to Eagle Flies, I believe. That's who I was going to talk to. Or whatever, but um... This dude came up and said about a race, so I'm not going to turn down a race. I'm gonna kick his ass. Oh, it's real foggy over here. Alright, it's been a while between videos. I'm picking it up this December. I have to. I want to. I can't. I can't not. I enjoy making content for all you beautiful guys and girls, so I've got to pick it up. I've been very slack. been playing a lot of Blackout lately. So if you haven't watched it yet, you should check out my Blackout video. It's just a compilation of... Things that I thought were funny or cool clips from the games that we played, I highly recommend it. But you don't have to. If that's not your thing, that's fine. How far is this place? Because it took me ages to ride over here to talk to Eagle Flies, and I'm a little bit annoyed I have to run so far away from him. And this guy is catching up to me right now. You've got to be kidding. Oh my god, I can't get up. Wow, you're a dick, mate. I fucking got... Yeah, I lost the race because I got knocked down a cliff. Fuck him. He wasn't the one that knocked me off, but I'm still pissed about it. Alright. We gotta give our horse some stuff. Fortify his shit with some horse meal. Beautiful. Man, that is annoying. I was in front that entire race, and then right at the end, your boy gets bumped. And crashes and falls. Why are we going to... Oh, okay. This is rain. Who was I originally? What? I still had ages to go, apparently. Okay, so this kind of brought me right to where I wanted to be. Alright, I'll take it. I'm talking to Rain's Fall, not Eagle Flies. I couldn't think of his damn name. I can remember Eagle Flies' name for some reason. Alright, let's just get off the horse thing. It's going to take half a million years. I don't like that camps are so slow. I really wish they would let you walk faster. Like, why can't I jog in a camp? Is my... Am I going to explode? Are they going to shoot me if I jog around their camp? Doesn't make any sense to me. Hello? Come in. Make yourself at home. You don't sound very well. Poor Arthur. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh, I'm very 
sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? All right. I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. Hmm. Healing. Okay. I'm cool with that. What is this Sounds new? interesting. Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. Of course I, I have. This much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. <clears throat> I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you, I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Mm. Yeah, right. Help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance okay. will be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. All right. Am I gonna get shot for it or something? Man, look at his horse. Anyway, gentlemen, that's like Bill's horse. Won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll do. Are you riding on with Rain's fall? We'll continue on this way. I am going to look for some herbs to give you. Is it gonna help me with my terrible cough? Hey, speeds up if I speed up, so that's good. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet I didn't so see shit. We're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Yeah. I didn't. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. Mm. Three years. He was the best. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Oh, fuck's Some sake. Plants I need will be growing down here. God damn it.
How far is he gonna walk? He's just going and left. Okay. Okay. Hey, let's continue on. Now, I was saying, for years, he was the best man I knew. But uh, he's been unraveling for some time now, and I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Mm. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks gonna get caught in the crossfire including eagle flies so what can we do i ain't quite sure just wanted you to know the situation mm. thank you mr morgan let me give this some thought okay you know i had a son once years I didn't ago know this don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. Oh, I fucking hate about this. this later. You can't talk and pick? Are you kidding? For real though? You can't you can't talk and pick herb? Well. Oh, lovely. You know your horse just pooped on the ground. Just took a big hearty shit. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Are we going to continue to talk? Saying, Isaac, his mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day. Saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Fuck. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered $10. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Mm. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's going to take more than that. I saw a doctor and... He says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. All right, I appreciate the confidence. What's happened? No. Oh, that's what we I rode past this earlier. No. 
Oh God. They've destroyed everything. Now I need to find the Chinupa. Who? Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremony. Oh, pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Go over here. Where is it? Oh, I remember I passed it. It's a flask here. This is a place of peace. There's some whiskey here. Hmm. Well, we know who did it. Holy shit. It looks like they was doing some drinking. I found something. Best to get the clue near rain's full. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Over here. Whiskey soaked logs. Uh, there's some logs here. They must have used as kindling. Another one up here. Oh my god, how many clues are there? More whiskey. Why are we just inspecting bottles and bottles and bottles? Oh god. Where? Where's this smoke you speak of? Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. Pricks. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Yeah, I don't care about no treaties normally. No, they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, I know one will be wiser. Would you do that? Will you? Well, I don't think I have much of a choice, do I? You'd come. I uh, don't have any money. No. Money. Let's go. Let's see if they have our sacred item. Try not to hurt anybody, not a fucking chance. Not a chance. Are you gonna stay here or are you coming with me? I am. 
That was the most sane of you were coming, but okay. Oh, why does it get stuck like that? Let's go. Alrighty. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Just get stuck on the rock. It's so awkward going down tight spaces on this because it tries to not let you get hurt. But a lot of the time you end up just getting stuck or in an awkward position. It's really, really frustrating. Hey, how you doing? Can we please get over here? I just don't want to... I don't want them knowing who I am either. to fight them. Who cares? How the fuck are we gonna look for this shit? An Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian. Sure looked like one. Come up here to the Canadian border someplace. Canada? They got Indians in Canada. Tons of huh? Oh, you're imagining France things. No, France is near. Is near France. Well, it's in France. Indians is from here. These people are so fucking dumb. It hurts. Where are you from? Hmm? I'm Polish. I'm a lot. Hmm. Gonna help me at all? Nobody, 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 nobody. Shit, 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 shit. Take your hands off, man. So. That's it for you. I'll make short work of you yet. Fuck off. Ah, oh, well, fuck this. I'm sorry. Sorry, I gotta look for the stupid fucking pipe. Where the hell could it be? Right here, isn't it? No. I just cannot find this damn pipe. Search check. Oh my god, I probably could have avoided all that combat. Maybe. No. I'll take the potent miracle tonic though. That could help. Where would they put it? What's my description?
Um, search the camp for the sacred items. This chest here. Jewelry. Poison arrow pamphlet. Some arrows. Inspect document. Okay. Are oh, you kidding me, right? They were behind them. Alright, well, I didn't succeed in hurting nobody. Sorry about that, but, uh... They started it. They started it, sir, I'm sorry. Tight turn, nope. I was gonna, gonna tight turn straight into a tree. That would have been real intelligent. Why do you make me go so slow? Please. Please tell me you found it. Oh yeah. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart matter more was anyone hurt yes it's a bad business i should not have let you do this for me but perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre with these maybe i can calm my people maybe i can calm my son i hope so thank you take those herbs i gave you Please, and most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Thank you, sir. That boy getting high as fuck. He's a man who... Not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. And I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Hmm. Alright. Well, I did terrible. Uh, let's see, where we gonna go? Where's the nearest thing? So we can head up to John. We can head up to Captain Monroe. We can head to Eagle Flies. Mm. We'll do a John mission. But we'll be doing that in the next episode. So, if you liked the video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Hit that bell, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poi!